Tacoma VA was very much struggling. Um, in 2014, there was a major tragedy of a young Marine who died from a mixed drug toxicity. Um, many, many investigations ensued because of that. Staff left in hordes. When I got there in late uh, October 2015, there were no senior leaders left in terms of the top management. So it was a very scary scene. There was a concern about whether it could succeed as a hospital or not. I realized shortly, it did not take long to realize that there were people there with resilience and passion for what they do. So what we needed to do is rebuild. And that's where the tough work came. The morale when I came to the hospital was very low. There is a survey that the VA does called the All Employees Survey. They do this on an annual basis and they compare all 150 VAs on multiple areas. When I came to the Toma VA, in every single category, they were either second to last or last on every category in the country. So immediately we looked at those results and put strategic actions in place to turn them around. And within the next year, our best place to work rose, uh, rose it was huge. It was like 20% increase in one year. We're now 32 out of the 150 hospitals in top quality. You know, so we have come a long way really quickly. I just want to thank the partnership. I just, this is huge to me. This is just awesome because what this is going to mean for that hospital and what this is going to mean for our veterans, it's bigger than me. And um, this opportunity to tell our story and to move forward, this is going to be a life changer for some people. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming the 2019 Federal Employee of the Year, Vicki Brown. It really is like the Oscars. This is absolutely awesome. I am so honored and humbled at the same time being with such esteemed colleagues. And uh, I need to thank the partnership for doing wonderful, positive support for the federal government and all the great things that happen. I I would love to, um, and I'm going to, thank my family because they allowed me to follow a calling I've had for over 38 years. This wouldn't be possible without them. I'd like to acknowledge my husband, Douglas, and our um, one of five children, Noel, who is here with me tonight. I love you guys. I hope, Team Toma, I hope you're streaming this because this one's for you. We've been through some tough times. My job was to come in and create a vision, remove barriers, and allow the great people that existed there to step forward and show the innovation that was possible. And you did it. Congratulations. I also want to thank the Simkowski family. After a terrible tragedy, of losing a son at the Toma VA. They became an inspiration not only to me, but to all my staff as they attended all of our veteran experience committees and they helped us turn into the VA we are today. Um, thank you, Marv, Linda, and Heather. I'd like to thank the VA senior leadership for creating a culture of psychological safety and confidence in me so that I could take the risks that I needed to take to be successful in this endeavor. And I'd also like to thank Renee Oshinsky for being a mentor and a friend for many years and for this nomination. I'd like to thank all veterans who are here today because that's what I'm all about. Thank you for your service.
And I'd like to thank all the federal employees who come in and provide service every day. It's who we are, it's what we do, and I'm blessed I have the greatest mission in the world. Thank you.